Hi, my name is Mary Beth Gray. I'm a partner in the business and finance section at Kleinbard. And I'm excited to talk to you today about employee stock ownership plans and their role in ownership transitions. An employee stock ownership plan, or ESOP, is a qualified benefit plan qualified by the IRS and the Department of Labor to provide benefits to employees. Its intention, though, is to hold stock of the company that sponsors it, with that stock being used to provide an employee benefit to the employees. An ESOP also acts as a buyer. It is designed and intended to purchase stock from the company or from the shareholder, with those shares then being put into accounts for employees to provide a long-term benefit. A sale to an ESOP has the same result as any other sale, like to a private equity firm or to a more strategic buyer, with the result being that the person who owns the stock today sells the stock and the ESOP purchased the stock at its fair market value. One of the biggest myths I hear about ESOPs is that they are appropriate for only a small subset of companies. In actuality, there are many, many companies in different geographies, in, of different sizes, and in different industries that would be perfect fits for partial or whole ownership by an ESOP. A seller who knows that ownership transition is necessary or desirable will often find that a sale to an ESOP is as good or better as a sale to a more traditional buyer and solves the same objectives and provides an added employee benefit to the company's employees. How do you decide if an ESOP is right for you or your company? Here are some things that you could take into account as factors in your decision making. You or the current owners are ready to think about a transition of ownership. You have a capable management team who's willing to be strongly involved in whatever the transition involves. You have relatively steady earnings. You or the other owners are willing to stick around and have a role in the business after the transition, including possibly as a creditor. And you haven't already decided that some other ownership structure is the most advantageous to you. These and numerous other factors will be part of the key decision making. And if you are the owner, you should be willing to have an honest conversation with yourself about which goals are most important to you and how you see yourself best achieving them. Like any business decision, employee ownership has complexities that require careful consideration. It's critical that you work with knowledgeable advisors who can help guide you through the unique circumstances of your company and your ownership questions.